Well, I'm back at the Apri um, today. As you will have seen from yesterday, if you follow me on social, social media, which if you're watching this, you do, <laughs> um, I did a full hive inspection of my three hives. Number one needed a Bailey comb change. They needed fresh frames, so I decided to do it via the Bailey comb change. Number two, again, you will have seen the video, absolutely perfect, beautiful brood, beautiful pollen, all very well. They don't need any fresh frames this, this time. Number three, this hive here, this was the hive that had Varroa last year. And um, when I looked inside that, I mean, brood, everything, queen is laying, but they are going back inside and checking on their brood. So that sets alarm bells off for me. Um, and the only real solution is to do a shook swarm. Now I've never done one before um, because a, the Bailey comb change is a far more gentle way of introducing the bees to their fresh foundation. This literally is what it says on the packet. It is a shook swarm. You shake the bees onto fresh comb. Um, I, I, to me, it's, it's quite harsh. <laughs> you lose all the brood, I'm afraid, that the queen has, you know, the eggs that she's laid and the, the brood that is growing, but needs must, and it really is the most efficient way of um, counteracting possible disease. So uh, I'm going to take you through it. It's, as I said, it's my first time of doing one. I've watched videos I've read lots of things about it this morning so uh, let's go through it together okay so I'm going to show you the equipment that you need to do a shook swarm and of really it's just another hive so here it is here's the floor of the hive and here is the door to the hive um, here it is the brood box uh, which has, I'll pop it on there first of all, there we go, which has lovely fresh frames in it. Um, I will be putting on, sorry, queen excluder, that will go underneath the brood box there so the queen can't escape, so that will go underneath there. You'll see that as I build it up. Um, and then on top of the brood box will go a crown board. Feed, again, you have to feed like crazy. Unfortunately, the um, cup to my bigger feeders is broken, so I'm going to have to be here every day, probably morning and night, feeding them. But uh, they do need feeding, so that will go on top of that hole on the crown board. And then a super which covers that feeder there. Another crown board. And the roof. Okay, so it's just another hive. My so, first job, I'm going to look for the queen. I hope I can find her and put her in a cage so that uh, I can then just carry on and not worry about, you know, shaking the queen off. Uh, I hope I can find her. I couldn't see her yesterday, but uh, fingers crossed I can. I'm going to hopefully find the queen, because mm. that will make the job so much easier if I can find her and put her. There she is. God bless you. God bless you. There she is. That will make everything so much easier. Okay. There we are. Good, she is in there. That's amazing, I'm so pleased I found her. She is in there, superb. Well, so I've got her in the uh, little cage. I'm actually going to mark her. I didn't get a chance last year. See. Look at all the girls around their queen. Look at them all. Oh, you little beauty. There you are. Okay, I'm going to pick this hive up and move it over there. Here we go. Oops. 
pulled out. Good. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm now just going to put the new brood box where the old brood box was. Excluder has to go on next. Where is it? There it is. And there's the Queen Excluder. Now that that just means that I've trapped the Queen in for now. I'll untrap her when she's off and running, but at the moment I don't want her escaping in panic, so she cannot get through there to get out of the door. But of course, the bees can. So here's the brood box with all the fresh comb. Now I'm going to remove about four of the fresh frames here. Well, three will do, probably. Three will do. I'm going to pop the queen in there now so that the bees will come to their queen. They'll know she's in here and not in the one over there. So she's going in there for now, like that, in the cage. Okay? She's absolutely fine. And now I'm going to shake off all the bees. Not this one. Stop. will calm down I promise you. The beauty of finding that queen is knowing that A she's in there and I haven't damaged her shaking her off. So all these bees that you see flying around now will come back to this box because this is where their original box was and their queen is in there. And they are absolutely all over her. You can see they are all over her. I'm going to pop those frames in that I took out. One. That's it. Two. That's it. Three. So I'm going to pop the queen. She was at the front, so I'm going to put her back at the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to release your queen. She's in. She's in. Boom. Boom. She's in. Oh, what joy. What joy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's right. So she's in. Can go back in my pocket. Pop that crown board on really quickly. There. Okay, so I'm going to put the feeder over this hole here. Like that. The escape here. Pop a bee escape in here so they can't come up through that little hole 
little girls. They can go down through the hole, but they can't come up. Pour the sugar syrup in here. I'm now going to just do what I did yesterday, give them a little bit of a hello. Look what's up here for you. This will hopefully bring them up. Okay, so let's just, even though they can go down the beer skate, I'm going to brush them off. As you can see, it's all calmed down. They're all just using it now. It's just the flying bees coming back from foraging, a few little stragglers, but most of them have got little yellow pollen sacs on their, on their back legs and uh, they're just carrying on as normal. Um, as you know, the queen is in there. I'm so pleased I found her because um, I watched a video this morning where he was checking the frame shaking them in checking the frame shaking them in and i thought well what if he doesn't find her he's just got to hope that he shook her in and she didn't fly off in a panic <laughs> or damage her shaking her in so it was really important to me to find her first um, for my own peace of mind so i was thrilled as you could see when i did and brucey bonus i marked her but let me explain it's not that cruel um it's called a shook swarm because obviously we're shaking them onto new foundation, but why shook swarm? When bees swarm naturally in the wild, they find a tree or somewhere, a little hole to go into, and there's nothing there for them. They really have to start from the very beginning. And so they, they start off from ground zero in the wild. And this is exactly the same except they've got um, the wax foundation to give them a little bit of a head start and they've got the sugar syrup up there to give them the energy that they need just in case there's not much nectar out there. So um, they hopefully will be coming back and thinking, oh, that was good. How did that happen? <laughs> it's like moving house and finding it's all absolutely beautifully clean. And now we can just start rebuilding again. So it's given this hive the best possible start it can have to the summer. So I'm really excited about that. There's just one more thing I want to show you um, to show you why I felt it was important to do this um, shook swarm on this hive in particular. So just to finish this video of the shook swarm up, I would like to show you why I thought it was important to do the shook swarm on hive number three. If you look at the video I put up yesterday, and it's called Yesterday, that was of hive number two. It's a very short video, but you can see how beautifully flat and healthy that brood looks. Now, if you've looked at that, now look at this. This is not healthy all the brood has little tiny holes in it. Okay, see that? And that means that the bees are aware or thinking that there is something wrong and they're checking the cells themselves. So um, this is what alerted me last year to the fact that um, I had, might have Varroa and in indeed I did. Um, I checked the Varroa board, I couldn't see any signs but they're definitely looking for it. And also these little um, cells here now are very dark, very small. Um, so yeah, all of that, all of the above was the reason to do a shook swarm and I'm so pleased I have sacrificed the very much the minority for very much the majority so yeah job well done i'd say